Welcome everyone, Drake Hawkins with you, and today we're going to be looking at uh, a bit of a strange game. It's Survival Vacancy, and uh, I have the demo. This is uh, not the latest version, not the full version. I just uh, heard about it, thought you guys might like it, but I figure I'll give you a chance to uh, chime in on it. If you like it, hit the like button. If you uh, want some more of it, let me know in the comments, and uh, we'll see. If this uh, gets a bit of uh, loving from the community, then maybe we'll get the full version. And uh, I'm going to put links for the uh, Buy Now on Steam and links for the... Um, Twitch.io. You can get this demo from Twitch.io where I got it, and then you can get the buy it on Steam if you want. You can also donate to them on Twitch. Dot, er, Twitch. Itch.io as well. So let's start a new game. This, what is a Survival Vacancy? Basically, uh, yeah, you, 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 you do some mining, you uh, cut some stuff out of the ground, and you uh, start automating the crap out of everything. Because just like every good... Uh, um, I, I don't want to call it a Factorio-esque game, but every game that's about engineering and all that jazz, um, we're going to be like a Superman and just uh, collect the crap out of the world. Yeah, we're going to gather everything. Like this, om nom nom. I played it a couple times, uh, at start the first like 15, 20 minutes, whatever, half hour, a couple times just to get a feel for it, so I don't have to read through all the tutorial and kind of figure out where everything is. This guy's super awesome stellar laser thing is pretty noisy. I just mine everything. Om nom nom. So this is a copper, no this is uh, algae here, that's stone. This is copper ore. I think the gray stuff back there was iron ore. In fact I know it was. And uh, this gray stuff over here, ooh dig, ooh, oh dig level is too high. As in I can't get through that, that's all. What's that? Oh what was that one? That one was weird, it looked different. Mm, I don't know. I don't know, let's go one more layer down. That's probably good. Um, no, no, let's, let's make our way back here. We got this uh, super fly jet pack. It is both super fly and it flies super. And uh, we're going to gather a bunch of stuff and then we're going to blast through the tutorial stuff and uh, see if we can't make some fancy pretty automation stuff and uh, go from there. Oh my god, so you know what? We got some copper and some uh, iron over here. Let's let's just start there. That's what I need. A couple copper and a couple iron. Or a copper and an iron. That's probably enough. Is there a little, a little more copper in here, maybe? Nom 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 nom. Look at my om nom nommy skills. Now we got copper and iron here. I, I kind of, I think I'll start over here. We'll start over here. Uh, WASD and all that. Uh, I'm going to skip through the tutorial stuff. We're just going to ignore that. Um, okay, so we got a... Um, a manual, um, what's it called? Manual maker. He's amazing. We're gonna plop him right down, say there. Now we have to be in proximity of this thing. Uh, there's a little gadget up at the top. We can left click it to flip between information panel and uh, the the recipes that I can make with it. So then I go and select a recipe. Let's say iron ingots. Uh, we have left tab rather tab to open up the. Uh, uh, our inventory page and if I left click on this well there's a manual or some sort of crafting thing open on the right it'll dump the resources in I can uh, spam click it but the most it'll put in is one extra run worth of material so it takes two to craft it uh, if I click that it starts one run produces one iron ingot if I click it twice it'll start one and queue up another one and then once it's done, it'll stop. There we go. That's what we got. A bunch of those. Let's uh, make some iron ingots. Lovely. Uh, what's next? Well, we can hit this recipe button. We grab the, that gives us the stuff that was finished. I want to make an excavator here. This is uh, basically, it's a machine that excavates. You can see these are deposits. Iron, copper, I think the one under here, algae. I, I haven't messed with algae, have no idea. Literally total noob vest, vest here. Uh, this, uh, let's see, this axle right here. Is the component so if I click on the excavator and then these are the components I need well I haven't made any axles or valves so if I clicked on axle <clears throat> which I need one of I know that I need two iron ingots and one bearing well I don't have any bearings either so let's see what those are they take one ingot so let's put one iron ingot in there then go back to the uh, axle recipe I now have two ingots and a bearing I can add those in and make me an axle Yay! Then, uh, what else did it say we needed? One of these fine valve things. That is two ingots, uh, two copper ingots. We're going to need uh, at least a few of those. One, two, I think it takes, we'll make a few of them. Because we're going to have to have uh, 
some for the wires as well. Cables, wires, we'll, we'll finish six, that, that seems fine. Uh, this guy needs conductor. Ooh. Da, 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 da. Not that kind of conductor, Nick. Let's make one of those. Let's go crazy and make two of those. Uh, and I want one there and one there. Make me a valve. Make it the velviest valve of them all. Let's put a valve and an axle in there, and it'll make me an extractor. Oh, yeah. Look at this fancy tool. If I right click on that, I can then go place it in the world. I can place it over the copper. Uh, really? Wait, 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 what are you gonna make there? I didn't realize I could place it there. I just accidentally did that. Is that legit a thing? No, I guess I can't. He's not gonna, I was like, maybe he'll just craft stone for me? But I guess not. Uh, right click and put it on the copper. Aha, see if I'm close. Oh, I stepped too far away. I gotta be, I guess, two tiles away from it in order for it to work. Hmm. That's unfortunate, but I could be two tiles. Oh, there, I could be up there. Okay, let's uh, change this up and tell it to build a support structure. Yes, let's make a couple of those out of some stone. No, oh, did he shut off? Why? Oh, he's full. He's given us 10 iron ore already. What a fantabulous genius you are. Uh, now this thing has given us a couple of those. Those are structural supports. I'm gonna right click to move this beast. And then I'm going to go tab and I'm gonna grab this structural support, right click, and place him there and place one there. And then we're gonna put our manual maker back up on there. Aha! Now I'm close enough to that one. And now if I make another excavator, which I can do, I like the music, it's pretty funky. Reminds me of a game from my childhood, but I can't remember what it is. I just, I don't know what it is. It's gonna bug me forever, but, because I'm sure you guys don't know my crazy childhood with games. Pretty much all this kind of game. <laughs> That's what it was. Uh, let's see, I need one of those, if I remember correctly. We made the wire and we got the copper left over. Beautiful, just enough in there to go ahead and make another excavator there and there I, I don't like that maybe they've changed this is of course this is demo mode remember that I'm in so uh, I currently can't like move these things around I'd like to be able to switch shuffle my inventory it doesn't keep it sorted any which way that I've seen so all right now there we go some iron and some copper manufacturing steadily for us so I can just stand right here on this tile and make stuff from both that's awesome uh, I think what we're going to do next is uh, work on what they want us to make, which is a uh, this thing. We want the wind power now, right? Uh, manual maker, receive a piece on the right, right switch. Got it. Make it axle and valve. Done that. You were so last Thursday. Uh, make that. Change the recipes. Button. Iron and copper. We'll need electricity. Optionally, you can manually. Ma uh, can place a manual maker near the excavator to stand between them to make them both work. Very helpful hint. Like that. Um, what else? Juice of steps. Battery generator. Okay, generate electricity. Okay, so we need one of these. Let's uh, see about making some more bearings. Uh, I want to go there. I don't tell you to pick up. I don't tell you to pick up. Keep crafting for me, my friends. Uh, let's make a couple more bearings. Okay, and then I'm going to craft up about 10 or so of these. Uh, I've got 30 ore, so let's go 15 of these iron or iron uh, ingots. Are they called ingots? They are called iron ingots. They're amazing. It's such a industrially noisy background. You almost don't need the music. Chunk, 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 chunk. All them fancy machines go. Wait till we got a whole bunch of them and they're automated and everything. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, okay, keep making those. Oh wait, I'm, I'm full of ingots. Well, ten ingots is probably enough. Let's go, uh, what did I need to make? This guy, right here. Uh, four of those, two of the bearings, and one copper thing. Thingamabobble. Oh, we gotta make some more copper thingamabobbles. Copper ingots, and then we can make some conductors. I keep thinking of them as wires or cables. They're not. No, no, no. Couldn't use the term that I understand. I love how it's not a manual crafting machine, or it's a manual maker. Just, it's, I don't know. I like it. It's fantastic. I think the uh, art style is absolutely fun in this. I don't even call it beautiful, uh, but it's fun. It's a fun art style. I love it. Uh, what was I making? One of these. Fancy guys here. You make some, have some bearings, have some of that, and have some stone. Look at that. We've got our wind battery generator. It actually legitimately generates batteries. It, that's pretty awesome. Okay, now right click here and you can go 
why don't we just put you right there? That sounds lovely. All right, next uh, step in the tree is to make a power station. So let's do that. We can uh, get over here, grab me my oars again, please. Lovely. Uh, power station is this guy right here. Tiny power station. It's so tiny. Uh, I need those. I need uh, those. I've got that and I've got that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Give me another set. Why not? I don't know if we need one or two. I know we need something. Basic circuits. Me likes me circuits. Uh, one of those and one of those. That'll make me a tiny power station. Now, I actually need to keep take that switch the to this the to this the manual maker to this beast right here La, de, da, 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 da. cuz i want to manually make some things in the manual maker la 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 so we have a floor basically that's what we need we need a floor uh, grab me those and build me some floor yoink lovely okay where are we going to put our battery uh i don't know that's iron, yeah. That's copper and that's copper. Mm, I'm not sure how we're going to make this initial uh, first first run. You guys need to give me lots of backseat gaming on this one because this is an automation game. And you all know we all love these crazy things. And you all know that I don't do them very efficiently. So let's see. Tiny, I can remove everything that I make. So that's good. That's a positive. I think we will put... Uh, why don't we put the battery thing like right up here? Maybe? Probably not a bad idea. Let's grab uh, one of these. Place it there. It seems a little convoluted, but why not? Uh, now, now what we need to do is we need to have this, which generates actual batteries, connect into here to put those actual batteries in here. It uses up said battery, drains it into the storage, and gives a thousand joules, which a joule is a Watt, joules and watts are the same, except for joules are stationary, watts are flowing. That's how I understand it. Now, uh, okay, oops, we got that. We didn't have this guy running, that's unfortunate. Okay, now, uh, what do we need to craft? Well, we need to get the power from there to there. Uh, that's going to be an actual uh, cart thing. What's it called? A carrier and a stru that shouldn't say structure support, that's amusing. It's supposed to say carrier rail. It's a little glitchy, but that's right. There you go, carrier rails. We need uh, those. Let's say, I don't know, a couple of those. Let's just make two of them, since we have two, two copper and uh, a bunch of iron. Lovely. Make me two of those. Actually, I need a third one. So we're gonna make some more copper. Uh, and then if I right click here, I can do this. I can ro R to rotate these guys and do something like that. One apparently doesn't work. I've tried that. Um, but I can have a little cart that runs on there. That is going to be called a carrier. We need one rail. Make me a rail, please. Thank you. And make me uh, a simple transmission box. That sounds easy enough. Uh, we need two bearings. I have one. Let's make another. Thank you kindly. That is going to be this and those. Excellent. Bearing and copper ingots. Now, what was the other thing? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Circuit board. We got that. And we got that. And we got that. Craft away. Excellent. That's our carrier. Uh, right, oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. He's still in there. Grab that and close it. Uh, if I take this guy and right click and then I left click, he'll go la di da di da and he's not doing anything. Da -da -da. But if we double click up here, it has the outputs. So we can, uh, we can, that's odd. Can we run things in the ground? I don't know. Uh, if I click that and tell him to output, he's going to grab, look at that. He's grabbing batteries. It shows what he's carrying. And then I double click this guy. Yes. And there's the input from the top. I can have him input like that. Ha ha, look at that. He's got batteries in there. That's awesome. Okay, uh, except for now I'm carrying batteries. That's unfortunate. Mm, okay, well, not great. <laughs> now, okay, that's charged, but no power is running anywhere. So if we want these things to run when we're not there, which isn't really important right now, but uh, we could uh, have them powered by running cable lines. 
to do that, we'd go in here and we'd find this baby right here. Power, power, uh, that's conductor, so that is power connector. So if we take those, boom, we make a little cable. Some reds and some yellows don't cross them. That's bad. Uh, and I can make a bunch of that. No, I can only make one of that. Well, that's awkward. What we'd really like to be able to do is to have a bit of basic ore automation going. That would be lovely. So let's uh, let's crank that last and get out, and then see if we can't make something something automated. Basic smelter. That's what I want. I want some valves. Please make me a valve. Uh, in fact, two basic smelters would be lovely, wouldn't it? Uh, make me another one of those. Actually, one of those first, or two, or three. La 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 la. I want it to automatically smelt things for me. So, uh, valve. You're gonna be, you've already got one. Uh, okay. Let's make one more. And uh, go there and there. We'll make two of these so we can smelt iron and we can smelt copper. Uh, da, 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 where was it? Smelter. Okay, I need bearings. Means I'm gonna need uh, four of these guys. Two, three, four. Lovely. Now, uh, I'd like to smelt some more iron. Just a couple. I want to kind of transition over to automated smelting as soon as possible. Now, you, Mr. Basic Smelter guy, uh, I need those, and I needed one of those. Excellent. And I'll make a second set. Oh, so, so wonderful. Um, okay, what are we going to do placing-wise? Well, uh, we can do a bit more digging, I think. I am stuck. There we go. Let's dig a bit more of this space out here. Uh, I think we're going to need a solid, like, three at least. Ooh. Let's go, let's go Trixie. Go back here. Oh, look at that. Um, okay. I, I, I got an idea. You are going to craft me some of these uh, rails. Yes, that is a good idea. Uh, apparently I'm not close enough unless I'm floating. That's amusing. Okay, and smelt me another one. Oh, gotta let my jet pack in the bottom here uh, recharge a little. Actually, I gotta let it recharge entirely, apparently. Uh, okay, you smelt more. Okay, that, that's a little awkward that we can't operate on there. I wonder... Hmm... I'm thinking of making a way for these, say, three or four of these. Probably three. I don't think I can get to all four of them on the same little belt. Um, I'm going to do that. Let's craft another one. One, two, three... Three pieces? I don't know if that's... That's probably overkill, right? Probably. Let's, uh, let's make some more of that. We put uh, four belts and we need four of these pieces and two of the little movie guys. Yeah, that sounds good. Excellent. Now make me some more iron ingots. I'll make about ten of them and then we'll see what we can make. Because I want three more uh, connection or carrier rails. For what I'm gonna make, and then we'll make the two carriers to go on it, and we'll make a smelt. We got the smelter already. We just have to power it then, but we can manually operate them. If we stand close enough, they'll run. Oh, that's ten. That's plenty. Uh, okay, now change that and make me some more rails. There, there, and there. Three is probably enough. La 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 la. And then I need the. Don't have one of those yet, so let's make it. I need two bearings. Bump, bump. Excellent. And uh, uh, you're gonna make this guy. Hmm. Oh, there. Sorry. Ha. <laughs> Wrong button. Make that. I need another one. I didn't make enough bearings, did I? No. Make me more bearings. And you. Excellent. Uh, copper and bearings. Then I get two simple transmission boxes. And then I need to have two of the circuits. 
So I'm gonna need four of these guys. Boom, they're quick to make. Okay, and uh, no, not you. Probably need to smelt a few more, I'm not sure. Uh, it's this that I need though. That and that. And then we'll do that again. Excellent. Now I've got enough to go with, uh, where is it, the carrier? That, that, and that. Lovely, and do that again for me, and we'll have two of them. Mwahaha. <laughs> Fancy carriers. Man, that music is pretty bold, isn't it? I, w I, I hope the, uh, the next edition that I, if we, if we go with uh, the full edition, then we'll definitely want to have uh, a bit sl uh, softer, or more controls maybe on the music. Let's take those guys and drop them in there, and if I can... I think this is the right size. Yes, yes it is. Excellent. Now, here's the plan. Oh, I got a super awesome plan after that. I'm gonna go uh, there, 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 and there. Yeah, that might work. And then I put one, two. Yes. Okay, now, I need more, oh, I need more um, of these. Uh, give me the copper and disconnect the copper. Good. Uh, and then make me another one of those, which is axles, bearings. Ooh, um, axles, please, I need some more iron. Actually, while I'm here, I can double click this guy and tell them to output. And then tell them to make, have an input, oops, there. And if I double click him, I can actually, uh, oh, the ch there's only two recipes, iron and copper. So that's good. And then, look at that. He's going to smelt for us. Now, he's not automatic. It automated. It's manual. I have to be nearby for it to work. Uh, it's, and as well as that. Okay. That's uh, unfortunate. So I got to be basically hovering right here. Uh, do I have any more ground things? No. Can you craft me a, mm, those? Let me fly. Thank you. Keep keep making some iron there, please, sir. I can actually go here and just dump some in, but I can only dump a tiniest little bit in. Uh, make me some more of those. I need at least... Oh, I've got one there. Never mind. Didn't need two. That was a little overkill. All right. You put that there so I can actually stand. Thanks. Now you guys will work. Right? Yes. And you're not working because... One, two. I could build two more of those and still have them running. Yeah, so what I need is more of the drills. So if I right click on the drill, wherever it was, there it is. The excavator. He's in range. There you go. Oh no, he's. I don't need more excavating. I need more rails. Okay. So if I just did that, if I got rid of this one. Yoink. They'll just run that gamut. Save them a trip. That's not bad. Alright, now you guys are crafting away. Good, I like that. So, uh, we got that automated. Let's go ahead and automate... Um, I guess we could automate an output. But it's not powered yet. So let's make another excavator. Uh, one of those. Uh, let's see. One of these babies. And then I need a valve. That and that. And then I need a an axle, got a bearing, got some ingots. Lovely. Change the recipe back and make me an excavator uh, with that and that. Perfect. Now, uh, you come uh, go right there, please. And then I'm going to make some more carts. I mean, rails or whatever they're called. Let's make some rails. There. No, oh, no, I need some more copper. Well, we'll get that copper going anyways. You can go... Where are you going to go? I want one tile's worth to dump you over the top. That's probably all I need. Is one rail going to cut it? Probably. Probably. Now, uh, I need a cart, a rail cart. So you need... 
to have one more rail there and there. Thank you. And I need uh, this guy, two bearings and a copper. And two. And a copper ingot. Oh, the automation is fun in this one. And then it was a circuit board, I believe. So I need two of these. Make me a couple more of those. Maybe three. I don't recall exactly what it is. Uh, I'm going to make... Uh, I think I needed two of these guys. There we go. And then the... Was it a valve? No, it wasn't a valve. It was a basic circuit thing I'm making. The iron and two conduit cables. Conductors. Excellent. Now, uh, that was to make me one of these carriers, please. There and... The, 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 um, oh, I didn't make it. I thought I made this guy. Apparently not. There we go. Now we got him. Now we're, now we're rolling. Give me one of those. That and that and... Um, oh, I didn't make the circuit. What? Oh, yeah, it's in there. Where's my... Ca oh, there it is. That's what I need. Ha! Carrier rail. Lovely. Now, I got a carrier. If I put him on there, and I tell this guy to output that way, and tell this guy to make copper stuff and input that way, they don't work. One isn't enough, I guess, huh? Uh, must That must be what it is. Let's see, can I just pop out one or more of these guys? Maybe I need two lines. Probably. There we go. Uh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons, that's okay. Uh, nope, why is that not happening? Oh, because I told it to go in. Whoops. Let's put you back in there. Oh, that works great. Look at that. Mmm, ba banging them out. Okay, then in that case, in that case, we're going to change this up. Come here. Come here, gobbly friends. I'm going to do this. We're going to take this out of here. Can I not take this out of here? Uh, a little odd. I know I, I know I'm supposed to be able to get rid of these. There we go. It just wasn't letting me. Just fiddle with things when these early access slash demo things are not working right for you. Just fiddle with them. Uh, let's clean that out and that out. And then I'm going to take these guys and move them over a tile. Oh, that's a little jiggly. Come here. Lovely. Okay, now we're going to put this in here. And then I'm going to put you back on... Uh, no, that's not going to work. I done wrong. I done wrong. Forgive me. Please. Please, sir. Uh, can I have another chance? You're going to go with those right uh, there. And then we're going to put this baby right here. No. We're going to put this baby right here. Yeah, and you are going to have an input. Uh, and you're going to be iron. Now, now they're demanding it. Look at that. Boom, boom. Haha. <laughs> Almost steady running. I like it. Okay, now that's great because he's going to craft the crap out of that for us. Let's give me a, a little bit of a space to work here. Mm -hmm. I'm magically lasering the world away. I'm not sure how a post-apocalypse think world exists when you got tools like this, but whatever. I'm here to save the day again. Um, that's almost as fast as this guy with two of them. Interesting. You could level that up higher and have them... I don't know, have them run this way? Anyways, dawdling with silly efficiencies. I know, I said silly, and I talked about efficiencies, and that's just rude. Uh, let's get power going here next, shall we? So to make power, I'm going to need, uh, not those, I'm going to need these guys. Let's see, they take uh, copper cables, which take those. Um, okay, so we're smelting the crap out of copper here. Let's uh, use this thing, not that, oops, wrong recipe. Uh, this one to make me those, and we're just going to crank those out, a bunch of them. Um, nom, 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 nom. So what we're going to do is run power from this thing to this thing and this thing, and then they will automatically keep producing for us, which is awesome. And 
go here, and I can grab those, and then I can go back over here, and I can keep spamming these in here. It's gonna be automated, and it's gonna be awesome. If we go, if we, you guys decide we are gonna go big time with this one, then it's, uh, we could make something pretty fantastic, I think, with this concept. At least the basics that I've seen so far. I don't know how mid-game pans out at all, or the full version. So if you're interested, remember, hit the like button, let me know that we need to make some more. But for now, we've got our basic smelting of uh, iron and copper going. And uh, a bit of power here, but we're not, we're gonna connect that up next episode, and then we'll see, uh, what we can do about um, getting a little more complicated or a little more making life a little easier for us uh, in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoy this. This is a sur uh, Survival Vacancy. This is the demo version. Uh, the game is available on Steam. The full first early access, I guess Alpha, is available on Steam. Uh, we're six days in and uh, we got a bit of smelting going. Pretty happy with that. Uh, I would like to probably play this more. We'll do a couple more episodes and see what you guys think. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you in game.